Hello YouTubers, today we are going to learn what is an instance and how to create it. You are watching Learning Made Simple, this is funny, let's start. What is an instance? Instance, instance is a virtual machine which is created by you in Amazon data center. See there are total 16 data centers all over the world, 16 data centers all over the world and 42 availability zones. See consider Mumbai and Singapore, there are two different data centers. And each data center has two availability zones. The diagram would be like this. See, this is the Mumbai region, this is the Singapore region, and there are two availability zones in each region. That means these two are the places where you can store your data. Generally, in corporate world, we use two databases just in case of backup. You know, if one fails, the other runs. Now, coming to our topic. How to create and launch an instance. So, in instance, we are going to uh, install Windows 2008 Auto operating system, which is a server operating system. We are going to install it. So, now we are going to learn how to create and install it. Okay. First, we need to log in into the console, uh, that is aws.amazon.com. Sign into the console, and then you can see this screen. You will see this screen when you sign in into the console. And after and, and after after logging into this, you have to select the region. This is this is must use. As this this is very much important. First, we need to select the region, or else uh, you will get messed up by seeing in which region you uh, you are uh, you are saving the data. You know. Whenever you are, see here, yeah, I have selected my region. So the data now which I am going to create will be saved in Mumbai region. Now select EC2. EC2 is Elastic Cloud Computing. Through EC2, we can create a virtual machine. Now, this is the EC2 dashboard. These are all the services which are provided by EC2. Now, see here, these are running instances. So, running instances are zero. That means there are no instances launched by me till now. Now, we are going to launch an instance. Create an instance and then launch it. Okay. Now, click on this. Click on launch instance and select free tier option. This free tier means you can you can choose a free tier OS instead of paying to Amazon for testing. You can just uh, choose OS and there are many OS. There are somewhere around 29 operating uh, OS are there in Amazon marketplace. This is Amazon machine image and we need to go for Windows 2008 R2. To left 2008 okay we got it this is the windows 2008 r2 we need to select this and here see we have selected the free tier option so free tier option can only use one cpu and one gb memory and that is one gb ram if you would like to go for 4 gb ram or 2 gb ram or 16 gb 32 gb whatever you have to pay for amazon next configure instance how many machines are there one machine now we, we, now we would like to go for how many machines? Only one machine. And coming to the subnet part, here you can see there are no preferences. Or else you, you can choose on which on which server you want to launch an instance. It can be one or it can be one V. One A one V wins. This in Mumbai region, you can launch instance on this machine or else on this machine. That is up to you. So I have, there is no preference here. Uh, add storage the the minimum storage offered by amazon is 30 gb for free tier account so 30 gb we cannot do anything sorry the maximum storage offered is not the, the maximum storage add tags we need to give it a name windows 2008 r2 there is a name configure security group this rdp is remote desktop protocol remote desktop protocol and this runs on port number 3389 and 0, .0, .0, .0, 0, 0 this means anyone can log in from anywhere launch and review now you can review your uh, options which you have selected earlier then launch it this is the most important this is the most important part guys see this is a key pair to launch sorry to 
now you have successfully created an instance now you want to launch it if you want to launch it you need a password and that password is been uh, is been created through this key pair create a new key pair give it a name Same windows 2008 r2 okay download key pair we need to download this okay now Let's put it in my desktop. Okay, this is the key pair dot pem file. Now I'm going to launch an instance. Okay. View instances. Now the instance is initializing. Now if you if you go for the EC2 dashboard, now you can see. The, now how many instances are there? There are one instance, one volume. One volume is 30 GB which you have created earlier and one key pair. This key pair is necessary to log in into this instance. I will show you how. See, instance now it is running and I would like to connect to that instance. Okay, you can directly click, click connect. Now you have to download the remote desktop file. See the remote desktop file. Okay, it's downloaded. I'll Cut it. I will paste it here. Okay, this is a remote desktop file and this is a key. Okay. Close it. See. Now you can see we have we have downloaded the remote desktop file. Open it connect now we need to get a password but we don't know the password so how can we get the password see go to ec2 dashboard go for the running instances select the instance click on actions get windows password you will get this page and you have to choose that dot pem file which you have downloaded earlier so this is the dot pem file windows 2008 r2 open it decrypt the password now this is the password which you got. Copy this password. Now paste it. Click OK. Yes. And here. Your Windows 2008 server OS has been launched. The IP address is this. And even you can do whatever you want. You can create folders. You can create a web server. Now it is just like a virtual machine. And this machine is been accessed through internet. And always remember, after creating a virtual machine and after testing it, and if you don't have any use, I mean, if you if you don't use it, you can just terminate it. It is the best practice to stop it and then wait for it until it stops and then terminate it. This is the best practice if you are learning AWS. How to turn it? We have to refresh it. The machine, the machine is stopped. Select it. Options. Terminate. Terminate. And now the machine is terminated. So this is the best practice. We have to terminate it. Now the machine has been terminated. Go to EC2 dashboard, see there are no no running instances and the key pair, there is no need of this key pair for you right now, so you can delete this. So it's clean as usual. And the security group, sorry, mentioned that don't forget the security group. It is also mandatory, we cannot say mandatory. It is also good practice to delete this all. Keep it clean. So we have learned what is an instance. 
we have learned how to create it and we have learned how to launch a windows 2008 auto system from windows 7 in the next video we will learn how to launch the same windows 2008 r2 operating system through linux machine thank you for watching this is funny signing off